Hello and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. Today we are continuing with the OCR FSMQ new specification and today focusing on binomial expansions. So the learning objective is to be able to expand a bracket uh, with a large power using binomial expansion methods. So this is a bit more of a pure uh, sort of topic rather than uh, statistics uh, but we do need this sort of knowledge to go into the next bit of statistics which is binomial uh, distribution so let's get into it uh, hopefully uh, you find in these videos helpful and I appreciate all the support on them so welcome to the wonderful world that are binomials binomial simply just means two term this could be an expression such as a plus b uh, let's see what happens when we start expanding 1 plus x to ascending powers. So uh, expand 1 plus x uh, cubed, you can do that quite easily. Uh, so you do 1 plus x times 1 plus x squared, which is 1 plus x times square the first, square the second, twice the inner product. So you get 1 plus 2x plus x squared, then you times that out and you get that. Fair enough, fairly easy, a little bit boring, you know, but easy enough. Even that, uh, 1 plus x to the 4 is achievable. Uh, we just do 1 plus x squared, squared. So uh, we've got uh, square the first, square the second, twice the inner product uh, uh, in there, and then we square all of that. So we get 1 plus 4x plus 6x squared plus 4x cubed plus x to the 4. Now then, 1 plus x to the 5 get lost can't be bothered hold on let's have a little look at these answers so we've got 1 plus x to the 0 is 1 1 plus x to the 1 is 1 plus x 1 plus x squared is 1 plus 2x plus x squared 1 plus x cubed is equal to 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed 1 plus x to the 4 is 1 plus 4x plus 6x squared plus 4x cubed plus 4x to the 4 and actually 1 plus x to the 5 is that so it's a predictable format. We've got 1 plus ax plus bx squared plus cx cubed plus dx to the 4. And in these ones, uh, the sort of early ones, a equals b equals c equals d, which equals 0. And the same for this one. Uh, b equals c equals d equals 0. And then this one, c equals d equals 0. You get the idea. So actually, if you look at the coefficients of these things, uh, it makes a nice little triangle. So we've got 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And that is called Pascal's triangle. So you will possibly need to know this uh, in the exam. They might ask you to use Pascal's triangle, but there is an easier way to work out these numbers. But if you want to uh, learn them, you can, obviously. Uh, you know you might not you you might not uh, like them too much but actually it's just the the uh the sum of uh, the middle number numbers are the sums of the ones above it so um 3 is 1 plus 2 uh, and 3 is 1 plus 2 uh, and then down here 6 is 3 plus 3 4 is 1 plus 3 4 is uh, 1 plus 3, and then 5 is 1 plus 4, 10 is 4 plus 6, 10 is 6 plus 4, 5 is 4 plus 1. So you, you get how to do it. If you can get the, if you know the top three are 1, 1, and 1, you can work out the rest of them uh, fairly easily. You know it all goes down in 1s like that. So it's, it's, it's a predictable format. It tells you the coefficients of the powers of uh, x in the expansion 1 plus x to the n. So that is... Um, you know, really good, I think. So you've got uh, the zeroth order, you've got the first, you've got the second, you've got the third. So this is what n is equal to. You've got four, you've got five here. Uh, and that basically this number here tells you uh, what row you've got. So if it was one plus x to the five, I know that it's one plus five x plus 10 x squared plus 10 x cubed plus five x to the four plus x to the five. So a really, really easy method of doing it. Um, so there you go, there's a quadratic line, there's a cubic line, there's a quartic line, there's a quintic line. And you can see that the coefficients match up. But feel free to, to memorise this or how to get it. 
Uh, there is another way of getting these numbers though, so uh, this is called NCR. Last lesson we did something called NPR, which was permutations. This is combinations. Uh, so NCR is equal to N uh, factorial over R factorial, N minus R factorial. But there's an even easier way th uh, than that. Similar to the permutations, there is a button on the calculator to do it. So we press shift, then um, the divide button on a Casio calculator, and that is C. So you would type in your, your N number, so for example, 5, and then you would do shift uh, times C, and say we want the... Oh, what do we want? Do we want the zeroth number? So this is the zeroth number, and then it's one, two, three, four, if you like. So for this one, actually, for five, it would be zero, one, two, three, four. So this is R. Um, so if I wanted, say, this one, uh, we want the third number, uh, the third coefficient, I would times five C three, and we would get ten from the calculator, easy peasy, just like that. So there, there you go, some really easy um, numbers to memorize there. Three different methods of doing it. It's up to you what you learn, you just need to know them. So, expand two minus three x all to the six. So, okay, now it's starting to get a little bit serious. We could sit here uh, and expand from scratch and hope that you don't mess up, but the examiner wouldn't give me a marks for that. I can't be bothered. And I can't be bothered, I should say. Let's use our lovely new friend, NCR. Uh, let's set up a lovely column of maths. So this is uh, something I like to do. So I type out all my Pascal triangle coefficients like that. So I've got 6C0, 6C1, 6C2, all the way up to 6C6. So if it was 7, it would go up to 7. If it was 4, it would go up to 4. You get the idea. And then we're multiplying that by 2 to the 6. 2 to the 5, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 0. So the 1 on the left dies, uh, the, the, the number on the left dies in terms of power. And then we multiply that by the other number, put brackets around it so we include the minus, and then that will rise. So that one dies, and that one will rise. So we've got a minus 3x to the 1, 3x to the 2, minus 3x to the 3, minus 3x to the 4, minus 3x to the 5, minus 3x to the 6. And you're doing everything to the power. So this 3 feels a 0 as well. So that'll equal uh, 1, apparently. Oh, well, that, that number's 1. So we've got 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1. And we're multiplying that by 64. 2 to the 6 is 64. 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So that's all those numbers there. Now we're multiplying that by 1. Anything to the power of naught is 1. Minus 3x, 9x squared, minus 27x cubed, 81x to the 4, minus 243x to the 5, and 729x to the 6. So that's everything there. And you can see why you would never, ever expand this normally, because it's just going to take you forever. And they all equal 64 minus 76x, 2160x squared, minus 4320x cubed, 4860x to the 4, minus 2916x to the 5, 729x to the 6. So there you go. Then we write it in ascendant powers of x, so 64 comes first, and we write it like that. And that is how you do a binomial expansion. It is incredibly boring to do, but they're all exactly the same. You just have to remember, you write your C numbers here, or your C men, whatever you want, oops, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. So you have your C numbers, then you have the number on the left, the power dies, so it starts high, then dies, and then um, the the number on the right, the power starts low, and then it grows. So we start at zero, and it grows to six, and then you just type them into your calculator and work them out. Just be very, very careful, work them out in a column like this, and you will be absolutely fine.
If you found this lesson helpful, then make sure you click that like button down below. If not, then let me know down in the comments what I can do differently to make it a little bit uh, more clear. Uh, this lesson, as well as all the other ones, are uploaded to the Google Drive and left in the descriptions of each individual lesson, so make sure you check them out if you need to go through them at your own pace. Uh, we've still got two more lessons to go. We've got binomial distribution and then uh, a little bit on Venn diagrams and then we are finished. So best of luck for your FSMQ.